my darling, I probably should wheel you back to your room. That's enough excitement for one day, don't you think? Thank you. Oh, what, what are you thanking me for? For everything. Oh, honey, all I did was make sure you got to the right place at the right time. All those balloons and the doctors and nurses and your friends, they all came because you are respected, you are loved, and you were sorely missed. I mean everything else. What else is there? People told me that you never left my side. <laughs> well, you know, I was just being selfish. You know, I don't sleep when you're not there. I love you. Oh, sweetheart. I love you, too. I wish we could go back to the way we were before. When you believed in me, when you loved me, when there was nothing that you would have given me or done for me. You are for real! None of it was real. I made you up. And you let me, and then you took away my Wait, girl, just, my just, little girl! I just wish you, you could forget all this. I just wish there was a way you could somehow see why I had to do what I did. You're insane. No, darling, darling. No, I just I wish we could just leave this place together and put all of this behind us. But you couldn't do that, could you? I didn't think so. So my sweet. You can just join your brat of a daughter in hell. Do you think that we pulled over? Yeah, I think so. They're just standing out there watching and waiting. Can I get you anything on my way back? Way back from where? Chris, you can't leave me. Look, Allison, I'm just going to drive right over to the hospital pharmacy and get you a sedative. I don't want a sedative, Chris. I, I want you to stay right here with me. And I will stay here with you, okay? As soon as I get back. All right? You'll come right back, right? Yes. I promise, and you have to stay away from the windows and try and relax. Well, how am I supposed to, Chris? My mom's out there thinking that she might not even see me again. If that psycho does anything to her, Chris, I swear okay, that okay. I... Allison, Allison, I understand, okay? But your mom is a lot tougher than she seems, all right? Especially, especially if she's anything like her daughter's, okay? But I got to tell you, you, you gave me the scare of my life. I did. I ran into that shack and I saw you laying there, but I was afraid that I... Me too. And when I woke up and I saw your face, I knew that I was going to be okay. And I knew that I was going to be safe. And you are. And if anybody ever tries to hurt you again, they're going to have to go through me first. Do you mean that? Yes. Allison, you, you still don't get it. Okay, when I ran in there, not knowing what had happened to you, not knowing what I'd find. If you hadn't opened your eyes, I... Bonnie. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. These arrived by messenger a few minutes ago, and... Since they concern you, I think you ought to have a look. And we could talk about it. What does this all mean? It means your life is about to change. Because of Bonnie? In a way. It's a complicated situation, Sarah. I, mean, I know you'll always be grateful to Bonnie for helping you to find your father, but... Uh, What's this word? A domicile. It means where you live. They're going to be changing where I live. Just give it to me straight out, Troy. You're right. You're not going to be living here anymore. Well, will I be with Bonnie? I'm sorry, Sarah. Where will I be living, Troy? 
with your father. You'll be living with me. Isaac, thanks for calling me. Where is she? She's right over there. She's been that way since Marshall left. Bonnie. <laughs> Sweetheart. Isaac told me I'm so sorry. This can't be happening, Mom. I can't let it happen. If you understand how you feel, I do. You don't understand. I I promised Sarah that I wouldn't let this happen. I know, but Marshall is Sarah's father. I mean, maybe this is for the best. This is not for the best, Mom. He's poison. And I'm going to make damn sure Sarah never, ever trusts him. Just how are you going to do that? Tell her the truth. That her father's a rapist. Decker, come on out. We're coming in. Margo? It's clear. All right. Weapons down. What's your business here? You're looking for that couple that was here. Yeah, did you see which way they went? All I know is I heard a crash. I peeked through the window. This woman's running away. Two seconds later, the guy runs out after her. How was she? Was she hurt? When I looked in his eyes, I prayed for that woman. Oh, damn it. We better pray, too. We better pray that we catch up with Decker before he catches up with Susan. Is Hal called? Nobody's heard from him. Oh, my God. Oh, Emily. Emily. Oh, oh, my God, Mom, you're here. You're okay. Oh, I'm so scared. Let me look at you. Where's Fred? Oh, where is he? Do you know he? where he is now? I don't know. I don't know. I just I just jumped in my car. I got out of there. Come sit, sit, sit down, Mom. Oh my he God. tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. I wish I'd just let him kill me. I don't know how I can go on without him. Oh, no, listen to me. Look at me, please. Allie's alive. What? What did you say? She's alive. Just listen to me, okay? She's at home, and she's probably sitting by the phone, going out of her mind, waiting for Are me to tell her that you're okay. Yes. I will explain everything later. You Just said, no, I know what I said. I promise you. I'll explain everything later. Just know that she's safe, and she's home, and it's over. Oh, God, we're all safe. It's going to be okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, that home bites. Door. Are you afraid all the reporters will know that you want another kiss? 